Hey there. So I am packing massive amounts of stuff. I'm gonna show you really quick and then I'll put you back down here. So here we go, ready? Look at all these boxes. So I've got all these boxes that have to be packed. There's more under here, here. Now by the time you're watching this video, all this stuff will be packed and shipped out. But I thought I would just come on here and talk to you a little bit while I packed some boxes. So this is for my spring break mega stamp camp. I've done another behind the scenes video. Um, I'll link to it below or at the end of this video, it'll be linked. But today's video is just kind of showing you the process of getting it all packaged up, getting it all ready to ship out and then me actually shipping it out. So um, I thought it would just be kind of a fun thing to bring you along with me to do this. Once we get this shipped, we're going to be working on doing our club because I do a club every month. Link below the video if you want to join the club. Um, and those will all have to get shipped out. So lots of shipping has got to happen this week. Uh, I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. And so I thought I'd just bring you along for the ride. So what I'm doing, let me show you here is I, I'm putting four boxes at one time in this, and then I'm going to fill them with all the pieces that need to go in. So let's get cranking on that. Oh Lord, why, why, is, why is shooting videos hard? It just is. So while I'm doing this, FYI, 12 by 12 paper, will fit in a medium flat rate box if you ever needed to ship it. It kind of fits kitty corner. Um, I'll show you once I get it in here so that you can see. See there how it fits kind of like corner to corner. And then I stuff stuff in on each side so that it gets supported on both sides. So the people that are getting these packages, they, um, ordered the whole big get it all bundle. So they're getting, everybody gets the paper, but they're getting the um, stamp bundles. They're getting a stamp set. And then they're getting their finished project kits. So we're putting those in. And of course you gotta include candy got to include candy in all your classes. Otherwise, what are you even doing with your life? Okay, and some people are receiving a free extra gift from me because I'm, I'm doing a surprise giveaway. And then, of course, I've got to include a letter that tells them all the information that they need to know. So that's going in the box also. So this box is done and ready to go. So let's pack some of these guys, okay? Okay, so a couple of the questions I know I'm gonna get asked is the, about these boxes. These boxes are free from the postal service, um, but they are flat rate boxes. So you can put a lot of weight in them and they cost, uh, I think they cost $14 to ship, but I use stamps.com to print all my labels and do all my shipping and I get a little bit of a reduced shipping rate. So I think it's 13 1875 to ship these for me um somewhere abouts there and the other question I'm going to get asked is how I do my printing labels because I get asked this every time I show anything like this I use this guy this is the Dymo label writer for XL I will link to it below the video and it prints out big labels I can't show you a label 
Like, there's one right there. Because I don't want to reveal anybody's address. But, um, yeah. So, I've only gotten, what, like, four, five, six boxes finished. <laughs> I'm getting in a rhythm, though. Um, with this kind of stuff, you always just have to find a rhythm that's going to work for you. And once you find your rhythm, you can usually crank stuff out pretty quickly. So I'm going to quit filming and get busy here so I can get these shipped today and I'll be back. And there's our little friend, Buddy, sleeping. Hi, sir. Do you want to say hi to all the people? Yeah. Maybe tell them that your mom should clean your eyes. So you don't look so nasty? Yeah. We should do that, huh? Oh, that's a good boy. Okay, let's let's pack stuff. All right, so we have all these boxes packed, labeled, and ready to go. Macy is finishing up putting together the rest of these boxes here for me. I am going to go and... You can't come out. You have to stay in here because I'm going to open the gate. Stay. I'll be back. Don't throw a fit. So I have to go out and I am going to actually get the car, pull it in, back it in, and load the car. Doesn't that make so much more sense than trying to kill myself carrying all those boxes? Yes, I think it makes more sense if I can just get my gates open here. Okay, gates open. Going to get the car. This one won't run away, but Truvy, she's not to be trusted. All right, so we're gonna go get the car. All right, car is ready. And here Macy and I go. We're gonna load boxes, 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 boxes. I'm out of breath because I'm running 100 miles an hour because Macy and I both have dentist appointments. <laughs> so, and we have to take food to Kevin's grandma. So, I'm going to get this all loaded and I'll show you a picture of the car. It's gonna be ridiculous. Okay, so here it is all packed up. Um, yeah, and I'm still not done. I have like 11 more packages, but I'm out of time. So I'm going to go in and there's mommy. Say hi, mommy. Hi. And we're gonna go in and pack up for, oops, gotta shut the door. See, I still have these left. But huge dent, only a few left to pack. And then I'll pack those this afternoon, run them to the post office so they're literally all completely done. Um, I just am out of time right now. So we're gonna run inside and pack up lunch for grandma and uncle. Come on. And Last night, I made mini banana bread loaves. So here's what I do for my postal people. I make them goodies. <laughs> it's my way of thanking them for putting up with my ridiculous packages. But I also have one for a neighbor and for um, the other grandma and uncle. And I gotta just package up their food now, which I made last night, cause they like to eat early. They eat at like two o'clock. So I made this yummy Mexican casserole. So they're gonna get some of that and some broccoli in a container. We're gonna run that to them and then we're going to the dentist. Fun. <laughs> We're at the dentist. This is the worst thing ever. I hate it. All right, guys, it's the next day, almost noon, and 
um, this is the little bit left that I have to get shipped out today of the stamp camp. Now, say hi, Miss Deborah. Hello. Um, Miss Deborah is working on packaging uh, club packets. Look how cute these are. I'm going to take this from her. She's got to put a label on it still. But they're full of stuff. And yes, the beautiful butterfly bijou paper that's out of stock. Um, I was able to order that before that happened. So um, they're getting their kits with their labels. So cute. And I'll show you what's in the club kit this month. So this month, there's rhinestones, dimensionals, a pack of the Butterfly Bijou, an entire pack of acetate boxes, along with their pieces that go uh, to make their acetate boxes, and a piece of candy, because come on, it's almost Easter and everyone loves chocolate, complete with Hello Kitty washi tape, two card kits here, and then there's some them other packages. So these are the other two things that they'll make. So this month's um, club is closed, but you could get in on next month's club if you subscribe by April 20th, and we're gonna use the Simply Succulents bundle. So anyway, that's what's happening in the craft room. We're trying to get all of these packaged and shipped by tomorrow. Wish us luck. Okay guys, so this is the progress we've made. Miss Deborah is packaging all the boxes, uh, getting them all sealed up and labeled. I've printed all the mailing labels. This all has to go to the post office and then all of these will end up being labeled and go to the post office. And I put together a packet. Miss Deborah's gonna help me get all of my thank yous made for March. And now it's time for me to go pick my daughter up from school. So Miss, I'm leaving it all in the hands of Miss Deborah. Here we go. Got time. It. Time. She's got it. She could do this in her sleep now. All right. So, bye. Miss Truvy. Hi, Truvy. Come on, guys. They know. Truvy always goes with me to pick Macy up from school. So she knows about what time that is. And it's actually different. So each day. But I'm going to go in here and use the potty. Not that you needed to know that. TMI. And uh, I am going to have a bite to eat. And then I'm leaving. Okay. So that's that. And we got our little Easter decorations happening here. That's one of my favorites. Look at these. I found these at the Target dollar spot. Aren't these cute? And I found this guy there too. Isn't he adorable? I love felt. Okay, next, next thing, get the kid. So it's the end of the evening and we got everything put in my car ready to ship and now I'm just cleaning up the office. There is kind of just miscellaneous stuff everywhere so I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All right so I got all the boxes, all a bunch of these boxes were still down here in the floor so I got those picked up and put away. Um, I've got a tote here that I'm going to use to put my retired product in because as a lot of you may know the last chance retiring list has come out and Wendy has not even looked at it. Yes, that is true. Um, because I haven't had time. I've been busy packing kits. And I also happen to have some Butterfly Bijou paper left. So I need to maybe do this on some giveaways or something. I've got a bunch of dimensionals left, which I knew I would have left over. Thank you, God, because I was almost out. So I need to put those aside and then we just need to do cleanup. I got punches laying around that need to be cleaned up. By the way, this one's retiring. Huh. I gotta go through all my punches and pull everything that's retired. If you guys wanna see a video on that, 
drop me a comment below and let me know if you want to watch me pull my retired stuff because I could totally do a video for you on that. Got to put my ink pads away. By the way, I always get questions about this. These units are from Stampin' Storage. The punch units, the inks, the drawers, the ribbons. So if you want to purchase some of them, I will link below the video. I am an affiliate, so I do get a to I totally get a kickback, but it doesn't cost you any more money. It's just if you happen to need them and want them and purchase them and you use my links, I appreciate that because that's part of how I make money. So, um, oh, and I always get questions about this. So people always say, you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. What are you using that for? And I, here's the thing, people. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who's running a pretty uh, thriving business. And my shoulder and arm and my people who help me, my assistants, they cannot crank. So this is a... This is an electric machine, so we can only crank so much through the machines before we, you know, have to have surgery on our rotator cuff or something. I don't know. Okay, so these are where all of my totes and stuff go. So I'm just going to scan the room really quick and see if there's any more. There's not. So this can go right here. I always have to have lots of empty bins and totes because that's what we use for sorting and prepping for events. So I always have tons of empty totes and bins. I'm going to put the trash can back where it belongs. And, you know, I get a lot of questions about, and we have a mystery leftover kit. I think I just miscalculated. If I didn't, we're going to find out because somebody's going to email me and be like, I didn't get my kit. So I'll tuck that right here for safekeeping. These are all cards from my stamp camp. Super cute. So I'm going to set these in my bin because I can use them now because stamp camp has been shipped. So I don't need them anymore on the off chance I needed them. Yes, that needs to be organized. Um, and then, let's see. I got this guy out because this prints small address labels and I have not been able to get it to work simultaneously with my other label machine. So I had this idea and I was like, Wendy, duh, plug it in over here. And then when you need to just print a shipping label, a mailing label that's not postage, I can plug it into my laptop and do it that way. So I'm going to plug this in over here. And this is Miss Deborah's trimmer that I keep here for her. We need to find a drawer to stick it in. Oh, come on. Put it in this one. Now she has her cutter there. This can go at my desk. And this I don't even need. Okay, these are the club gifts, or I mean a uh, club project. So I'll put those aside and use them. And then these are miscellaneous random cuts and things we didn't use. So what I do is I put those up here and then my paper storage is here. So the way I store my paper is with Stampin' Storage Towers, again, link below the video. And then I put these little labels on a clear plastic um, sheet protector that has the edge cut off. And I put my scraps in there. So everything is stored together. I have a free download on my um, blog for these, by the way. Okay, so I'll link to it. I'll link to it. God help me remember to link to all these things. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so let's pull this table out. You know what? I got to just set you down a minute. Okay, so we're going to have to pull this out a little. Nobody worry about my hair. Okay? It's, it's bad today. It's bad. But, you know, we don't always have time to do all the things. So the hair... The hair didn't happen today. 
just going to stick this down there. This cord needs to stay on top because it hooks up to my laptop. And some crazy person outside is driving his motorcycle crazy. Okay. And then we're going to slide this back. And yikes. Okay. Washi tape, pencils and pens, label maker. I don't like it. Things have to be in order by size, you know? I can't have things out of order. I don't like it. This is what happens when you're a type A personality. Okay. Let's have five seconds of real talk, okay? So the reason that I'm shooting all these little videos for you and show what's going on is because I think it's cool to see this kind of stuff. For me personally, I love watching videos with processes or just getting a sneak peek into somebody's life and how they do things. So I thought it would be fun to do those types of videos and you're gonna see more of that on my channel. So I hope you like it because, because I'll be doing more of it. And we're crooked, look at us, straighten up. Okay, so um, the real talk is that today and yesterday have been like a huge undertaking to get everything shipped, packed, shipped, and ready to go. Dogs are barking outside. Sorry, that's my life. So um, I really have been looking forward to taking some time off during spring break for my family at spring break. My husband's gonna be on vacation. So I really wanted to get to take some time off and do some fun things, which I will probably do some video of so that you guys can see. But the real talk is it's okay sometimes to put in really long days working really hard in order to offset getting to take a little bit of a break later. So do I work these this many hours every single day? No, because what kind of quality of life would that be, right? I No, um, I love my job. I love it. And I seriously feel like, like it's been one of the biggest blessings of my life. Next to my husband and my kid, I love what I do. I love providing classes for you guys and events, and I love interacting with you and creating fun videos for you. I really do love it. But everybody needs like downtime from what they do for a living, no matter how much they love it. So, um, I'm just in that mode where I'm ready for a little bit of a break. I've pushed really, really hard for the last four or five months. Even through Christmas, I tried to take some time off, but it's hard because celebration starts in January. So it's really hard to take, like, totally take time off. Um, and so we have some fun things planned for over the break. And I'm super excited for that. And... I'm glad that I got all this stuff shipped. It was really weighing heavily on me. Uh, I believe really strongly in excellent customer service, not just good customer service, not just great customer service, excellent customer service. So that is something that I strive to achieve with my business on a regular basis. I always like to provide top of the line customer service. So I was supposed to ship everything Friday um, a lot of it got shipped today, some of it got shipped yesterday, and there are some pieces getting shipped tomorrow, but it's all shipped. And so I'm really excited about that. So another big shout out, thank you to Miss Deborah, who you saw in this video. She is a huge help and an integral part of my business. Also a shout out to my friend Tracy in Australia, who works for me as well, and she works really hard also. She does a lot of administrative stuff for me. So I'm just thrilled to have the help I have. And of course my family, my husband helped put all those boxes. He did put all those boxes together. Some of you guys saw that video and my daughter helped pack kits and we just make it work. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? So um, anyway, I think that's it. I'm gonna sign off and I will see you guys in another video soon.